Hello there, it's Tom Meeks, and I'm continuing our introductory tutorials using Moment of Inspiration. And this time I want to continue working only with circles and using those things that modify those circles to make something useful. Let's do our uh, one dimensional view here. We're going to select top down. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. And I'm first going to make a circle right in the center. Now I'm going to make this circle. 20, a diameter 20, a radius of 10. Now I can switch back and forth here from diameter to radius, and you can see that uh, that's real easy for us to do. I like to work in diameters, but I'm going to change that to a diameter of 16 by just typing in there, and it changed this size now to be smaller. And the reason I did that is because I want to go up here and make another circle right here and oh by the way you can see where you are by this little dialog right down here notice my mouse it says 10 minus 10 10 and I'm gonna make a circle here and I'm gonna make a fairly large circle right there then I'm gonna make another circle at exactly the same spot and yeah and it's going to be I want to make it a radius of 2 Okay, so anyway, that's a diameter of four, that small circle, and you'll see why I did that in a minute. Now, I'm going to take this circle and this circle and select them. Then I want to make four of those, and I'll tell you why in a second. We're going to use Transform, go to Array, go to Circular Array, and we're going to pick a center point. Now, you could put any number in here. You could put eight. You can put 16, you can put anything you want. I'm going to say that it's going to be four. All right, we're going to have four. And the reason for that is these are going to be four bolt holes, and these are going to be a, a provision for uh, washers. So now let's uh, show that right now. I'm going to say done. I'm going to make a larger circle. In that larger circle, we're going to swing out here like this. And uh, now we're going to select these four circles, these outside circles, and that larger circle, we're going to go to Construct Boolean Union. And remember what that does. It makes an outline. So now we have an outline of an object that we can use to create a a, a fixture that will hold something using four bolt holes. So let's do that. I'm going to select that whole thing by, remember what we do, we hold down the mouse, start here with the left mouse button, press down, swing across. Now everything is selected. I'm going to say extrude, and I'm going to say extrude to a distance of 30. All right. Now, if I go back to my split view and reset this so that we can see everything, you'll see that's pretty tall. Well, I can make that smaller without changing the size of everything else by clicking on these dimensions here, making sure that maintain proper proportions is not turned on, and I can say on the z-axis, give me only 20. Or let's see. Give me only 10. There we go. We'll, we'll make it, oops, not 100. That, that would not work. Give me 10. There we go. So now we have this fixture that has holes for uh, bolts and an allowance out here where we can put a washer and so forth. Um, but we're missing something. I could drop an item in here but it would slide around. We need something that will lock that item in place. Suppose this was for a thermostat of a car and we wanted to drop the thermostat in, or it was a bearing and held a bearing. And we wanted to drop a bearing in, but we don't want it sliding around. We, we need something to hold that bearing in place. So I'm going to um, get rid of this, this circle. We don't need that circle anymore. We don't need this circle anymore. We don't need any of these circles. I'm just gonna delete them. Um, there's no point in having them. So as I move across, notice how I move across looking for things that might have been left over, circles that were left over. They're not there anymore. We're going to add a circle. All right. I'm going to take this circle, pick the center point of that, pull it out, and 
And I'm going to then click on this, and I'm going to say I want a, a diameter of 20. Okay, now we have a diameter of 20. Now I'm going to extrude that, but I'm going to extrude it in the reverse direction. Notice it's sitting on the top of the piece. So let's go to extrude. Okay, we're going to extrude that piece, and we're going to say minus 3. Okay. There we go. We've extruded that piece. You can barely see the outline right here where we've extruded down. I'm going to click outside here. Now, the order in which I do this is very important. I'm going to select the piece. I'm going to say Boolean difference. Then I'm going to select the extruded piece, the last extruded piece that was done in the reverse, and I'm going to say done. And you'll now notice that, let's get this uh, here. Is, uh, you'll now notice that I have a uh, bracket or a case, whatever you want to call this, that now has, let me get rid of that circle, that now has a little indented area so that if I dropped an item in there like a bearing or like a, a thermostat, it wouldn't rattle around. It would be held in place, and then you could tighten it up using this flange. So that's not too bad. You know, Moment of Inspiration is very quick to do things like this, and I really appreciate it. I hope this was uh, useful to you.